Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, how to bind model in uh, Blazor app. So uh, I have a project uh, that is the data layer project and uh, in this project I, am uh, I have a employee class and uh, I have also a Blazor project in, in the same folder in the same solution you can say. So you can see that employee class uh, in a data layer project. So uh, we have ID name and the city in the employee class. And before uh, before going to further, must to add a dependencies or you can say the project reference in a Blazor project. So there is the must thing to add if you want to use employee class. Okay. So add reference and already added uh, that employee class uh, employee project or you can say the data layer project in the folder and just add a new razor component after that in the pages folder the component uh, name is model binding okay so you know that uh, the first letter of the uh, component is um, is a uh, capital if you want to bind your uh, if you want to create your razor uh, if you want to create a component in the pages folder and after that you have to create a base class for that component so model binding base and class must inherit it from the component base class okay And the next thing is to add a pages just slash model binding and also use inherits keyword to just pick up your base class. Okay, so now after that, uh, just open your base class. First of all, add inherits and the base class is model binding base. Okay. And in the base class, you have to uh, create a list of uh, employee. So prop I enumerable type of uh, list that is the employee and the property name is oops not is employee component that is employees employee and that class is actually exist in the data layer project create a employees property that is the list type that is enumerable type and after that you have to create a new uh, method that name is load employee and uh, after that uh, just add some employees in the in the employees property or you can say the list in the list okay so new employee id equals to one and name equals to this Similarly, add the second employee also. Okay. Stee. Okay, so uh, in this uh, uh, math in this property we have two employees and after that override on initialized uh, method on initialized async method and that method is used to uh, used to load property automatically so just call that uh, when the browser load that method first of all call that is on initialized async and just after that you can check employees is not equals to null just after that you have to use for each loop to just pick up all the employees 
so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to blazer and must to uh, subscribe and don't forget please subscribe and the bell icon press on the bell icons to uh, for future uh, notifications so thank you guys for watching this video